Get ready with me while I have a somewhat broken hand and I tell you the story of how I started freaking out about my BMW yesterday and how the universe showed me that I was fully supported. Because I tell you guys all of the time that you need to not focus on your current circumstances and you can actually dictate how your reality goes for you in your current circumstances by not freaking the fuck out. So the other day I was driving my BMW and I heard this rattling. So I started freaking out because I was like, oh my God, I am about to blow my engine. I don't know why that's like where my mind went, but I just like, it sounded to me like an engine rattling. I don't fucking know. But anyway, I started freaking out and I was like, oh, oh my God, like this cannot be happening. I didn't have time to go get an oil change. So I was like, let me just look on Google what kind of oil I need. So I get, I look up on Google, don't do this, don't ever do this. It was the wrong oil, thank God. So here's the thing is I bought the wrong oil. By the time I actually had time to put it in my car, it was night. So I've never opened the trunk to this BMW because if you saw my last BMW freak out one, it's the videos where I have the bucket hats on. So if you haven't watched that one, like it's so good, go watch that one. Um, and if you want to know what foundation I'm using, I'm actually using the Butter Believe It by Physicians Formula because I typically swear by Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Bare Minerals one. But the problem is because my skin, like I keep it like a glazed donut, I'm not trying to look cakey and powdery and have dry skin. The problem is, is they transfer like a motherfucker. So anytime I give somebody a hug, anytime I like get close to my dog, my ghost, my oldest dog is white and she gets like tan stains all over her poor head all the time because I like try and give her love in and then my makeup smears all over it. So I actually feel like this is a great substitute and a crate dupe for those two because quite honestly I want to say that's like 13 bucks and those ones are like 50 and it's just not worth it and here's the thing is I am 98% Irish you guys I have red skin like I get that that upsets some of you if you cannot take my videos because my skin is red and like I don't want a red face like please go somewhere else like I don't know what you want me to do about it this is what it is like being Irish so, and then I'm using the Bare Minerals Concealer though, uh, because let's be honest, I tried the concealer for that and it's the worst, the worst. So I went to the gas station because at this time it was the only thing open. I understand, I understand I shouldn't be oil, buying oil from a gas station, especially if you have a BMW, like lesson learned, okay? But this is, this is the story of what happened. So I buy the the oil that Google tells me to buy. Don't ever listen to Google. This is also Bare Minerals. This is, um, if you don't know, I've been using cruelty-free makeup for eight years now. I do not use anything that is not cruelty-free. So you're gonna see a lot of like the same brands over and over again. So I buy this oil, then I'm at this gas station and I'm like, let me just put it in because <clears throat> I don't know why I'm freaking out, but I think that like my engine's gonna blow and I'm like, I don't want this to happen. So I go and I buy this oil, then I can't get my hood open. This is like, while I'm gonna say this is a blonde moment, this is really a moment for the universe to like help me out because the oil that I bought was not the right oil. This is the e.l.f. Brow Lift and this is a perfect dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wax. So I put it on my eyebrows and then push it down. And then I like, let's be honest, you guys, I'm a blonde. So my eyebrows take like 20 minutes. I do not think TikTok will allow me the time to do my brows on here. I know that you guys ask me for brow tutorials all the time, but like it probably just isn't going to happen. So I, well, my brows are next, so we're going to try it. So I could not get my hood, or yeah, my hood open. Like, couldn't. I've never tried to open it before. And this is, of course, brow dip, like Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you use anything else for your brows, especially if you're a blonde, like, 
what are you doing? What are you doing? They're the only company for brows that you should ever be using, like legit. So I put it on my hand first, so it's not like globby and huge. I don't know that I get, well, we're gonna see. This is not gonna be easy for me to do in here. All right, so I could not get my hood open. I start freaking out because I could not get it open. And I was like, oh my God, my hood is broken. Like da da da. So I just like, it was just like a huge train wreck. I don't understand like why my mind was going here, but I could not get it open. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'ma just go home. I go home and then the next day while I start researching YouTube videos, like how to get your hood open if it won't open. Cause again, time, like I'm not trying to be at a dealership or at a mechanics for freaking ever. So I'm like, are you kidding me? Like the shit that these men are telling you to do, like they're like, take your tire off, take your grills off, da da da. I was like, what the fuck? So I go to the grocery store the next day and I noticed that across the street is this like oil place where they do quick oil changes. Let me be able to do my brows mad quickly while I'm talking to you, that's crazy. So I was like, you know what? I just felt like an intuitive nudge to go to like this place and ask. So I pull in and there's nobody there and I pull in a parking spot and I start walking up. And I was like, hey, and here's the thing is I don't ever play the girl card, you guys. Like I don't ever, I'm the most self-sufficient girl. I will lift heavy shit myself. I'm way stronger than I look. Like I don't play the girl card. When it comes to car things though, best believe, best believe I am playing the girl card. And I had like a little tiny dress on. This wasn't purposeful, but like I don't think it hurt me any. So I was like, hi, can I ask you a question? And this guy comes like walking up, like I don't, like I was like, he clearly wants to help me while everyone else was kind of like standing back. And I was like, can I ask you a question? And he's like, yeah, you definitely came to the right place because I have BMWs, like that's all I drive. I know a lot about BMWs. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Now, fun fact is that this guy, his name was Jake. And the guy that I just got done talking to until I found out that he was like, a conservative republic republican that doesn't believe that cops kill black people in america and i was like oh and he wasn't even from america so i was like we're not doing this anymore but this is how i know the universe is supporting me because this guy who came to help me his name was jake so i was like i'm trying to put oil in my car but i can't get i can't get my uh trunk open and fun fact yes i i hold my elbow up while I do this, so that way it's steady. Yes, I did go to cosmetology school when I was 19 years old. So I, I asked him, I'm like, you know, I can't get my hood up and I need to put oil in my car. And he's like, okay. And he opens up my hood right away. So fun fact, I was trying to open my hood with the wrong thing. Hi, female. And uh, my dad is the handiest man in the world, so like, he could help me with all this shit back when I was in New York. So I was like, oh, I like completely feel like a moron because he literally just went in my car and opened it up. But he was like, I don't think you need oil. So while I was annoyed and freaking out that I couldn't get my hood up, it was really the universe being like, bitch, that's not the right oil and you don't need it. So it wasn't that anything was working against me. I wasn't being tested. The universe was supporting me. So he opens up my hood in 0.2 seconds and I'm like, hmm, just feel like a complete idiot, but whatever, fine. I'm just whatever. And then he's like, you know what? Like you do have like a light on, but he's like, I, that's a light that just always comes on on BMWs. It's just a known light. And I was like, oh man, like I just thought that that light meant I needed oil. And I started freaking out because I heard the rattling and he was like, yeah, that rattling is like all BMWs do that. That's just a heat thing. And I, and like, granted, I'm in the South right now. It was like 98 degrees that day. And I was like, okay, cool. So I find out that it was literally just nothing. And he's like, and that sensor is like nothing. It's just one that typically comes on, on BMWs. I'm like, okay. And he's like, and that is not the right oil. Do not put that oil in your car. And I was like, okay. And so he tells me what the oil look like looks like. And then he tells me I don't need any oil. So this whole time I was freaking out over nothing. Like my mind created a problem and it wasn't even a problem. And the universe was supporting me the entire way. But are you making things into problems that aren't actually problems? So 
I, this whole time I was like freaking out about my car and there was literally nothing to be freaking out about. This is the number, this is what I want to say about my eyebrows though. Y'all always ask me all the time how I do my eyebrows and maybe I'll do like a longer eyebrow tutorial, but nobody wants boxy looking eyebrows, you guys. So once you do your eyebrows, like, you know, those people that get their eyebrows microbladed and they look fucking terrible because they don't look realistic. Eyebrows should not be boxy on the inside. So the key is take, don't put, don't put more foundation on your beauty blender. Oh, and let me say this. Don't ever wet this. I see so many makeup artists or creators telling you to wet your makeup sponge. Do not do that. That gets mold in your sponge and that's bad for your skin. Your skin is the biggest living organism. Do not put mold on your skin. But so don't add any more concealer or foundation, but take what's the residual that's on there and then go over the front parts because like otherwise that's how my eyebrows look so realistic you're welcome because I just see way too many women that like are coming in with hard lines there and it's like girl that doesn't look natural at all so anyway the so I thought my car was gonna have all these issues like I thought I was afraid my engine was gonna die da, da, da. and it was literally just like my mind created this I heard something in my car that I was like, oh my God, like, what is that? And I started freaking out. But in reality, nothing was actually wrong with my car. It was just my mind telling me something was wrong because I heard something and it applied a negative meaning to a situation that didn't need to have the negative meaning. Now, I did not freak out the whole time. Like when I got home that, that night, I was like, I'm gonna just let it go because it was dark. I wasn't about to try and like I did research one YouTube video while I was at, like at a really long stoplight and that's when the guy's like you gotta put your car in a lift and da -da 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 -da. and I was like bro no so I didn't like obsess about it all night I wasn't like oh my god my car is broken but I was like I'm a before I'm driving my car all around tomorrow I need to like get it looked at so I go, Jake tells me, he's like, no, you know, like you're good. He's like, do not use that oil, do something with it, but don't put it in your car, like give it to somebody. I was like, do you want it? He's like, I can't use it. And so another sign that he, that like, I know the universe is supporting me. I, he was like, you know, like, why were you freaking out about it? And here's the thing is I was freaking out because my last car, the car that I drove from upstate New York to Southern Florida when I moved two years ago, and then drove to South Carolina, and then drove to the Adirondacks, and then drove back here, that car died on me because I let the engine blow. <laughs> so it was from past experience, right? Past experience. Like, you don't even want to know how much money I've spent on cars in the past fucking year. Like, y'all don't even want to know. So past experience was that my car, my engine blew and I was not trying to buy a whole nother brand new fucking car. This is the brand new fucking car, the BMW. I wasn't trying to do that again. So it was like, that's why my mind is freaking out. And I let it go there. Before I do this, I'm going to put some of this on. Um, I honestly cannot even tell you what brand this is because it's so worn off. But I really, really, really love the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow I don't even know what it's called but like the brow gel brow gel because the blonde one has little tints of like golden flakes in it which is perfect like it looks so realistic but they did not have my color when I went to the store and like I was completely out so this is like I don't know some cruelty free drugstore brand so this is actually a very 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 accessible makeup look and because my hand is like butchered, I'm not trying to like go all out. I know that you guys want makeup tutorials with my eyes. We'll get there. Um, so they, so the other thing was, is he was like, where in New York? Like he was like, mm. <laughs> he was like, where in New York? And I was, and I told him where I'm from and he was like, no fucking way. I, I go to, and I'm not trying to like completely call this man out. I've already said his name, so I'm not going to say where, but he was like, my mom's from there. I grew up going to da da da. And it's like around the fucking corner. And I was like, oh my God, this is the thing you guys, like you're looking for, you're looking for these big grandiose signs from the universe that like you're on the right track. 
his name tag was clear indication to me that the universe was supporting me. And like from my reticular activating system too, right? Because the guy that I was just talking to like every single day for a while, like his name was that. Then if I like missed that, if I didn't look at his name tag, now he's telling me that he's from or his mom is from where I'm from and used to spend his summers hanging out there. Those are two clear indications. And the other one being that the man who walked out to help me only drives BMWs. So like this is literally his jam. He plugged in a thing because there was no oil light on. He plugged in a thing and he like, a thing. this is, this is what I know. You guys, if you're a car person, you know what I'm talking about. But he plugged in, he was like, you don't need oil. And like that light, that's, it's just a sensor. Like there's, he's like, there's literally nothing wrong with your car. And I was like, okay, cool. So it's like, there were three signs there that I like, everything was good. It was just my mind that was trying to cause problems and assign negative meanings based on past situations. And I want to tell you this because I feel like you guys think that as a manifestation teacher and as a spiritual teacher and as somebody that has a manifestation academy and who mentors people, like you think that we're just inhuman. Fears still come up. Like my mind still like plays me, but because I'm really well versed, it's going to play me on shit that I don't know well enough. I am not a girl. Like I love sexy ass cars. I love fast cars. Like I love me some cars. Don't get me wrong, but I'm never going to go to mechanic school. I'm never going to be the one who knows. Like one thing I look for in men when I am like going to date them or if they were a prospective husband, do you know, are you handy? Like, cause I'll do a lot of shit around the house. I'll live shit, da, da, da. But if you don't know cars, that is a major turnoff to me. Why? Because I look for people who have skills and things that I don't have. And I don't want to be with a man who's like, oh, we need to take your car to the dealership. What if we are on the road and something goes wrong? Like, I need you to be able to know what you're doing because I'm not going to be there. I'll support in a lot of ways, but that ain't my thing. So my mind knows I don't know a lot about cars. So that will trip me out. And the... Mascara I use is Ilia. This one is the, the, the fullest volumizing mascara. And here's the thing is this is the only, the only mascara that I have found while living in Southern Florida in the summer and while living in South Carolina in the summer that does not make you look like fucking kiss. Like, holy shit. Oh, and because the other thing that you guys ask me all the time is what do I use on my skin? And you would laugh at the two minute video that it would be. This is what I use. I tried to get an affiliate code from them, but Care Door didn't get back to me. You should probably get back to me. I did link this on my favorites on my website though. So if you want to get it, you can just click on the link in my bio and go to favorites. Um, and it does help your hair grow, helps your eyebrows grow, helps your eyelashes grow. So like I already had long eyelashes, but I'm just letting you know. So it's like, I, I still have points where fear like trips me out, but it's not going to be in areas where I'm good. You know what I mean? Like in areas where I'm really confident in cars and like things going wrong with cars is not an area where I'm ever going to be confident in. That is not my strong suit. I am confident enough in myself to tell you what I am great at and also what I am not great at. So understand that you don't have to apply negative meanings, but your mind will because it's using past evidence. So instead of you freaking out about something and letting it completely derail your life, you can actually just follow signs from the universe. I was driving to the store that day and I looked over, saw them. And as I left, it was like, you should pull in there. There was no cars. There was nobody like I didn't have to wait. He came out right away. And within two minutes, cause we talked about where we were from, everything was good. So it's like, you have to understand that you can control your outside circumstances, but not if you keep assigning the negative meaning. So that way you're in a low frequency and you can't listen to your intuition and signs from the universe that are always just trying to help you out.